get into because the teachers don't have time to show them how to breathe. And it's something you're supposed to get on your own. See, nobody showed Louis Armstrong. And if he had it, he would have never had all the big gashes in his lip. Mm. And then you had nobody to show Dizzy Gillespie. He just got it because he thought you'd poke your jaws out and get all the air you needed. Then when he got older, it began to take toll on the on the knee. Whereas I was fortunate to be up in Boston in the Navy and uh, John Coffey was out there with the Boston Symphony and he was showing how one would keep on trying to pull the instrument away from the lip and put the air in the diaphragm, which I teach very strenuously to the young people because they, when they get started, they don't know about that. And so they just want to blow the horn so they blow. But the secret is to put that air and then control it up there, then eventually they'll find that they can play a long time, maybe say 20, 30 bars without taking a breath because they can put that air into the pit of the diaphragm and they can just squeeze it out. Or the ones with the circle of breathing, they can't get as full of a sound, but at least they could play many, many bars without taking a breath. Mm. And uh, uh, this is predominantly what is very necessary for the students to know today because they are teaching all of them how to read and that becomes periodically very simple. But playing or hitting those high notes Many, many years ago, they say, Louis Armstrong hit high C. Now, they don't even think of high C. Tissimals. See, but when he did hit a high C way back there then, it was something else phenomenal. He said, hit high C, but now John the Fathers, uh, these guys are just hitting them anywhere up there that they come to a whistle now. Uh, but in the meantime, we have all the saxophonists comes along, and everybody wants speed, a lot of speed today. And but you don't hear that many that has a big fat sound like Ben Webster or Buddy Tate or Jacket, you see. And why are they trying to get more speed with the instruments? Uh, Trombone, same way, they're trying to, although we're playing it now, so that we can almost sound like it's a finger instrument. And I play the marching trombone, and you keep on playing the fingers, and you get more accurate with your slide doing it. And so that's another thing that, uh, you get more accurate with when you're sliding. And I choose to make myself like a vocal since I have been playing backgrounds for all the most famous singers you can find. And that goes all the way back to Ben Crosby where I used to make films. 